This is the book of Ecclesiastes 12, verse 3, and it reads, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Rakaha Kordash. Yahweh be the name of the Father, who the world even calls God. Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world even calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai, meaning He is salvation. Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great most teach teacher and Ruwa who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam. The fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth and risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwatim, listen, listen, learn in sincerity and the truth and the silence, Shalom. Akyam, meaning brothers, Akwatim, meaning sisters, Shalom, meaning peace be unto you. This is your brother Shema from the GMS Toronto camp here in Toronto with another lesson. <clears throat> right, Salakia. You see this uh, news alert, news article, Breitbart News. August 24th, August 21st, 2024. The hopeful year, the Jacob trouble comes to pass. And it says, Canada's Trudeau dithers as nationwide railway stoppage threatens U.S. and Canadian businesses. Right? And we opened with that scripture, Ecclesiastes 12, verse Verse 2, and this word dithers means to tremble. Okay, let's look at the ed etymology. Dither, an online etymology of verb, 1640s, to quake, tremble. Phonetic variant of Middle English dithering, which is of uncertain origin, the sense of vacillate in opinion, be indecisive, is from 1908 related dither, right? Quake, tremble, be indecisive, right? So these elites, right? We know, <coughs> Salakia, we know these are uh, elites. What is their, what is it, what is their uh, universal law? They must uh, tell you what they're going to do before they do it. Something along those lines. All right. So let's read a little bit of this article. The administration of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is heeding left-wing demands to stay out of a dispute between railroad companies and unions. If labor and management cannot reach an agreement, Canada will experience its first complete shutdown of rail freight on Thursday with devastating consequences for both Canadian and American businesses. Canada is heavily reliant upon all Slovakia. Canada is heavily reliant upon rail freight, especially for agricultural products and manufactured goods. The vast and sparsely populated country is crossed by over 26 thousand miles of railroad which handles about 70 percent of freight between cities and half of Canada's international exports according to statistics compiled by the Railway Association of Canada. The RAC, the RAC noted that Canada's railways move 330 metric tons of freight per year including $200, $200 billion worth of exports at very competitive rates Rail freight is integral to many Canadian business models. Canadian rail freight is dominated by two companies, Canadian National Railway, CNR, and Canadian Pacific Kansas City, CPKC. CPKC dispatchers also coordinate passengers' rail travel in the big cities of Montreal, Toronto, and Vancouver. Since the passengers' trains use rails that also handle large quantities of freight. Right, freight, drop shipping, um, uh, supply chain all this will be disrupted 
if right these things if this thing the if these things collapse uh soon like we we know through prophecy all these things gonna collapse a time of great misery is coming to this place beginning with america the great babylon the great right a time of great famine a time of uh having less a time of uh money not running a time of uh, uh produce not running shipping freight uh, uh merchants uh, retail supplies all of that's going to be ground to a halt second Ezra 8 and 50 staple scripture for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world right and we're in the latter time so many great miseries is coming to babylon the great america the great right here in the west if america if america sneezes canada catches the catches the flu right we share the border the northern border with America. Right? It's, uh, America is Canada's big sister. A lot of trade, a lot of business takes place between the two. Because they have walked in great pride. Right? Pride. And we know the Edomite ultimately is proud. It goes on to read here. The Teamsters Canada Rail Conference, TCRC, which counts about 9,000 railroad employees as members, has been negotiating a new labor agreement with CNR and CPKC since early this year. Labor contracts are normally staggered by a year between the two big rail companies, precisely to avoid the kind of nationwide railroad shutdown, railroad shutdown that currently looms over Canada. But CN, but CN asked for a one-year extension on its labor contract in 2023 in order to process new government regulations on labor fatigue so both com companies came to the negotiating table at the same time in 2024. The negotiations are not going well. The union and the companies have accused each other of, of intransigence on their demands and bad faith bargaining tactics. I don't know what that word means. Let's look it up. Intransigence. 1874 online etymology from intransigent or else from or based on French intransigence intransigent uncompromising refusing to agree or come to an understanding right so these the the labor and, and the the union the union and the, and the railroad company can't come to an agreement let's read the scripture we open with right all by design Right, the Lord Yahweh Bishop is putting the spirit on uh, these big corporations, these ruling class elites, to uh, squeeze the 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 middle class. Right, the, the, the these these corporations they want automation, right? They no longer want to rely on 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 physical people for the labor. Ecclesiastes twelve and three in the day when the great in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, right? The financial analysts, the stock market traders, portfolio managers, bankers, and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because there are few, right? No jobs. And those that look out of the windows be darkened, right? There, there are, there are, there are, their future, looking at what the future holds. You know, it's it's looking dark. It doesn't look promising, right? The cost of living is out the roof for your everyday Babylonian American, for your everyday Edomite, for you ever for you everyday Ishmaelite, Moabite, Israelites, all throughout Babylon the Great, America the Great. The cost of living is is it's 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 it's, it's getting harder and harder. It's going to get to the point where nothing's going to work as far as labor, as far as job. There ain't going to be none. Right, no money coming in, right? Which will lead to the UBI, right? Which will in turn lead to the uh, the CHIP. All roads lead to the MOTB, the Revelation 13 verse 16 on down, which is an implantable device, a physical device, the MARK, which no man will be able to uh, 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 buy, sell, trade, do nothing unless he receives that that that, that device. Verse 4, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low, right? Companies for lease signs. 
The door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low, right? For lease sign, because there's no work, no manpower. There's no, there's no work, so we, we got to lay guys off. And what does that lead to? Businesses shutting their doors. Businesses going overseas. When the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Right, the sound of the grinding of is low. No work. Right, rise up at, at the voice of the bird, looking for work. Right, I, I read an article yesterday where I think it was twenty eight percent, thirty eight percent of Americans are looking for a job. Either they're jobless and looking for a job, or they're at a job and they're looking for a new job. The, 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 the article said it's the highest it's been in 10 years. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low, right? The entertainment industry, music, right? Brought low. Right? The vibration of, of today's music, is, is, is not, it's not, it, that's not it. Right? Let's go on with this. Uh, what else is here? The, the Teamsters claim the two railroad companies are demanding too much flexibility in worker scheduling and they want their employees to be more willing to relocate when required. This is all going to lead to automation. The union argues these demands would lead to work, worker fatigue and increase the risk of accidents, right? Because robots don't get tired, man. Right? And corporations are all about the bottom line. They don't care about, uh, about the physical demands the, uh, on on their employee the railroad companies say their employees are very well compensated their conductors make about $120,000 a year and engineers about $150,000 and both companies have offered generous salary increases during the current round of labor negotiations the companies feel their hefty pay and benefits should buy them some flexibility from the workforce as they attempt to provide a vital service to Canadian industry with reasonable costs and profit margins In early August, the Canadian Industrial Relations Board ruled that the Teamsters could stage a walkout if they wanted to on the grounds that shutting down the railroads would not threaten Canadian national security. Some found this ruling questionable since the economy relies so heavily upon rail freight and indeed some Canadians need those trains to keep running just to get the chemicals required to purify their drinking water. Listen, man. All hell about to break loose out here, man. Right? If, 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 um, if, uh, real, if, uh, railroad services, uh, collapse, there goes your food chain, there goes your supply chain, there goes chemicals for your drinking water. It's a whole ripple effect. Look at this right here. Nervous agribusiness analysts warn that Canada's harvest season began in August. So shutting down railroads could cause prices to explode and leave grocery store shelves empty. A prolonged strike could cause billions of dollars in damage from spoiled food and perhaps damage Canadian food exports by making the country look unreliable to buyers. The grocery industry said on Wednesday that shipments of some frozen foods have already been halted. Was that scripture in a... Um... Second Ezra 6, 22, and it reads, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. Right? Sown means to, sow, sown means to plant. Right? These farmers' fields are going to suddenly look, uh, 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 they're, they're, not, they're, not, uh, they're not yielding produce. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. The full storehouses, these uh, food distribution centers, right, at the top. And then you have your, your grocery stores, Right? Found empty, empty shelves. Right? The, 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 these things all have to, these things, it, it all goes hand in hand. Canada's small businesses are likely to suffer disproportionately from a railroad shutdown because big companies can work out alternative shipping plans with American railroads. For their part, American managers are worried because Canadian railroads handle about 15% of cross-border cross trade. 
The government of Canada must take action to ensure good goods continue to move reliably between our two countries. Now listen on that, man. But listen, man. You know, all 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 the all the um the stars are starting to align, so to speak, with uh showing the prelude to calamity, showing the prelude to hard times, showing the prelude to a time like no other. Right? So I pray edified. Call Allah Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great most on the teacher on Ruel. Shalom to the hopeful elect.